To set up the system, ensure the circulation tubing for the cell is secure. If necessary, tip the cell to remove any bubbles from the water jacket. This will help maintain a uniform temperature. When the bubbles have been removed from the water jacket, slide the cell into the stand. Place a membrane on top of the cell and secure it in place with the donor chamber and the clamp. For permeation testing, membranes are typically human or porcine skin. They can also be a skin substitute such as Strad-M or Permiapad. For release testing, the use of various membrane filters is common. To fill the cell, use a thin tube or cannula and fill the cell through the arm. Tip the cell as needed to remove any bubbles from below the membrane. If the bubbles stick in the arm, use the cannula to gently drive them out. When all the bubbles have been removed, adjust the receptor volume so the meniscus is in line with the volume mark on the arm. Typically, it will take about 30 minutes for the membrane and receptor media to reach the test temperature. Prior to doing anything, the membrane should be checked to ensure they are at the right test temperature. This can be done with a simple IR thermometer. Applying the dosage is easiest using a blunt syringe. The syringe should be filled with the dosage and then gently dispensed onto the membrane. It is recommended to weigh the syringe before and after dispensing the dosage. Typically, 0.1 to 0.2 milliliters is suitable for permeation testing. For release testing, 0.3 to 0.5 milliliters would be typical. Once the dosage is applied, the test is started and a timer should be started at the same time. For manual systems, the dosage should be applied with an offset to allow for proper sampling. Typically, one minute is sufficient. Sampling must be performed from the center of the receptor chamber. Sampling can be performed with a pipetter using a Permagear pipette tip, a syringe with a Permagear syringe tip, needle, or thin cannula. If using a pipetter with a Permagear pipette tip, it is recommended that an offset be applied to the pipetter to account for the additional resistance of the tip. Typically, this will be about 40 microliters. To sample, depress the plunger of the pipetter to the first stop, insert the Permagear tip through the arm into the center of the cell, and release the plunger. Wait three seconds to allow the receptor fluid to stop flowing for an accurate volume. Add fresh replacement media until the meniscus is at the mark on the sampling arm. Cleanup should occur after any processing of the donor chamber for mass balance. Once the donor chamber is processed, remove the clamp and lift off the donor chamber. Remove it and the membrane for any further processing. Use a transfer pipette to empty the receptor chamber. Fill the receptor chamber with an appropriate solvent which will dissolve anything present on the test. Typically, methanol can be used. Ensure the heating and stirring is still going on. A full set of cleaning instructions is available at permagear.com. After 10 minutes, empty the receptor chamber and refill it once again. Repeat this once more, then allow the cell to dry.